Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Borderwise and welcome to the vehicle designer of From the Depths. Mm. Now there's a story about why we're in here. Basically today I looked at my recent video pattern and schedule and thought, hey today should be a Nator campaign. And then I remembered, right, if I'm gonna do a Nator campaign I A need to figure out a way how to be less cheesy than I was last time. And B, I need to update every, pretty much every single missile and torpedo that my ships use in the Nitro campaign. And, well, to be blunt, I don't feel like doing that, so we're in here instead, and I'm going to try something that uh, I haven't really done before, and that's a building episode. We're going to build a thing, which basically means I'm recording for an hour, I'm going to try and build a thing I have in mind, and you guys can come along for the ride. You're welcome. And this also is gonna kind of double, well, kind of double as a little airship slash flyer guide because people have been asking me to like how to build an airship, how to build a flying thing. And so we're gonna have a go at that. So a first step is of course to destroy everything. And then the next step, turn the UI back on and now let's build. So, I tend to, especially for smaller craft, I like to build the hull of things first. Not usually, not always the best idea, but it does seem to work reasonably consistently for me. Because if I don't do that, I end up building too big. So, here is, I don't want this thing to be big at all. I want to make a tiny, tiny weird airship, like uh, less than 50 meters long. So, in that sense, like that. And how wide do I want it to be? I'll make it one, two, three, four, five. I did not set up mirror mode. That's okay. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Now I want this thing to be aerodynamic and pointy. So also poles are a thing now. In case you didn't know, that is fantastic. I'll need to have to stick a pole somewhere on here. I don't want a pole. I want a wedge. How do we do this? Okay, so we've got a very short pointy hull. Perhaps too pointy, so let's uh, make it less pointy. Let's do this. So there's a reason that uh, I haven't really done much in the way of building episodes before, and that's because I'm a very, very slow builder. I like to take my time with uh, building things. And as you'll probably see very shortly, um... Just, uh, I just, I tend to change my mind a lot, like just then, I just put a thing and then immediately decided, nah, that's not going to work, so we're going to do this now, and then we're going to do, actually, you see, you see what I mean, it's all happening like so, pop, and pop, and is that going to work? Maybe, maybe not. That's not what I wanted to do. This is what I wanted to do. And down slope, two meters. I like that's that, that's that. This is kind of the way I like to make the front of my ships these days, is just gently rounding off towards the front. Pretty standard, actually, how people tend to do that. This is going to finish off with a four meter slope, like so means that uh, we can do this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and this, no, excuse me, let's <laughs> go, uh, bless my soul, there, and here, so now what we have is a ship that is reasonably pointy, and we can get on with our lives slightly. So here, one, two, three, four. Incidentally, prefabs are by far your best friend when it comes to stuff like this. Especially when building larger craft. But in this particular case, I'm not going to do that. I am going to... Actually, I am going to do... No, I can't do exactly that. Poo. Poo, I say. Poo. So you might be thinking, like, hang on, border-wise, you're going to make an airship, right? So why does this look very ship-like? Well, that's because it's still a ship. It might be an airship, but it's also going to be a ship. 
And what would work better here? This would work better. There we go. There we go. She Now we're cooking with gas. What else can we do? I always like to have a double layer of stuff right here. Because that makes me feel safe inside my body. Do, do, do. And let's see. That is a one of these. Put some three meter beams in here. What I'm doing is not necessarily the best idea. Usually, by the way. Try and use four meter beams whenever possible. Because they're stronger. You'll save on performance. But sometimes you just, if, especially if you're making smaller stuff, it's like you have to use smaller beams and there's not an awful lot you can do about it, so. Don't want that, I want this. Also, I tend to build in wood first, because with the blueprint modification tool that is available online, and that I will probably put in the description, uh, it's very easy just to swap, like, what material your ships are made of, so... That's not a hassle for me. I'm just going to do this now. So this is very shallow ship. Possibly could make it even a bit deeper, but I'm not going to. It's going to be very small. And it very well might not end up being used for the thing I'm making it for right now. And it's very basic shape. Very, very basic. And... And we're gonna do this. And this, 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 this. This is one of the reasons I like making small craft more than anything else. Small to medium sized craft are my jam because, quite frankly, they are easy. They're reasonably straightforward. There's not a lot of drama in making them. And it's easy to spot mistakes with them, because this whole thing is like 56 meters long, and currently it costs nothing, and I like that. I like that a lot. Yeah, so let's just stick an extra layer on here, because even two layers of wood is better armor than just one. So let's do this. In fact, let's, uh, let's have a hole back here, because I'm going to stick thrusters on the back here anyway. So let's do that. Let's do this. This is already turning out bigger than I thought it was going to be, so... Meh. I guess that's something we're going to have to live with. Okay, so we have a very basic hull right here. Very basic, very basic. And we can do that right now, and it's... Well. So here we have a hull, and always a good idea. Save as you go, so I'm going to go... Save this in... Prototypes. I have a massive prototypes folder, so it's just full of stuff that uh, sometimes turns out into something and sometimes doesn't, so there's there's the an airship I made earlier, and there is, like, there's other things as well. So, uh, small airship. And it only gets a real name once I'm actually happy with it, which sometimes never happens at all. So, let's go here. And the first thing I like to do when making craft like this is I like to figure out how the hell the ammo is going to work. So, you see, already I've kind of screwed myself with uh, as regards to um, like building the hull first, because there's not a lot of room in here. This is not a very tall craft, and that's a problem with making anything that's quite flat. I seem to have an uncanny knack for making flat things, and now the real question here is how on earth am I going to stick ammunition in the back here, because there's not a lot of room. I'd rather not use heavy armor to seal off the ammo or anything like that, because heavy armor is very, very heavy. So if we get rid of caps lock, and if we stick metal in the back here, so that's straight down the middle where it should be. So here we stick one, two, three, four, five. Okay, that is reasonably heavy, but uh, a split second you stick heavy armor in the back of anything. Yep, so the her arse is going down into the water, actually not sinking that hard, but she's definitely more back heavy than used to. So we'll call that plan B, because I do want this thing to fly. Let's do that, so... This is one of the better ideas, is to just go nuts with uh, metal. Do, 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 do. Want it nice and sealed off. This isn't. This ammo compartment is not going to win any prizes at all 
for what it's going to do. In fact, that's a single layer of metal back there. I'm not pleased with that. This is kind of... I'm planning for this thing to be something of a starter craft. Which means, hopefully, it shouldn't need to be super advanced in everything it does. Because, quite frankly, that is very difficult. Okay, so... No. 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 No, no. No, no. No, you didn't. What the hell? No. Oops, I did it again. Okay, it is early enough for Britney Spears. Are you happy, whoever it was, that unsubscribed because uh, I dared talk smack about the spears. I hope you're happy. Okay, so ammunition storage. I always like to plan my ships around the ammo storage because, let's face it, it's one of the most important parts of the ship and it is a uh, most volatile part of the ship as well. So that is all very nice. I'm just going to plug this, make it even with wood. Again, not necessarily the best idea. I am full of uh, bad ideas, actually, when it comes to building. So, don't necessarily take my advice on anything. And I just realized that, why should anyone listen to me if that's the case? Uh, where are you? Where are you here? Now, so, sometimes I do do things the hard way, an ill-advised way. Like, honestly, the most consistently effective way I've found to build a craft is... Well... Especially if your craft is centered around turreted weapons, as in weapons within the hull. Like, turreted weapons that go in the hull. So something like, sits in the hull, goes eh, 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 and there, there's the gun, something like that. It is a good idea to uh, start building around the guns rather than anything else. Because otherwise you're going to have a real mission fitting them in. In this case, this thing's only going to have deck guns, so... Yeah, that won't be an issue. I should mention as well, like, uh, what my plan for this actually is. So, I'm planning to arm it just with uh, simple weather auto cannons. It's a design I've had floating around in my brain for some time. So, yeah, we're gonna see if we can make that a reality. Like, sometime this, ye this year. So, let's see. Next step is the AI, and this isn't going to be an award-winning AI compartment either. Long way away from uh, over there. And yeah, this thing is not going to be like a godly class design or thing. This is something I, I'm i building for fun more than anything else. Like, there's a whole list of things that I really should be building. That, But the mere fact that uh, I feel an obligation to build them uh, means that I am less enthused about building them. So, so yeah, th that probably says something about my personality. But yeah, what are you going to do? So we have that... Turn that off. Connectors. One, two, three, four, five. And then we need general purpose. So, there. No, not there. What am I doing? What am I doing? So, we need a naval AI. And we also need a land AI because I want this thing to go over land as well. This particular combination is something you kind of need if you want an airship that can just hover over land as well without using an aerial AI, which quite frankly sucks and I hate it. So, don't like that. Don't like that at all. I prefer to use uh, Deadly Blades to, or PIDs to control the altitude of this because this bloody thing is uh, worse than useless and well, I still haven't figured it out. Some people have, good on you, I have not. Now let's have target prioritization and endpoint selection. So, these four cards very good, and we need to stick the wireless transmitter on here, because that's always essential. And also the intra-vehicle transmitter, because this thing is pretty much always handy. Allows your craft to talk to each other, ensures a good fleet social life. Can't go wrong with that. And before I forget, I'm just going to set these to my default for ships. So this is my default for any broadsides like that. I will set this to zero, because I hate it when my ships turn tail and run. Because that usually makes things worse. It means that they get... Uh, because I tend to make broadside in craft. Like, is if they turn away and run, all they're really doing is exposing their rear and taking most of their weapons out of play. And that's just really annoying. Always set this to minimum because... Uh, frankly, I find it easier to just turn, uh, put more turning... Uh, what's the word? Like turning thrusters or rudders or something like that on the ship, put as many as possible to get them to turn sharply rather than fiddling around with this. 
there is a method for finding out what the real turning circle of a craft is. I usually don't bother because half the time, like, it doesn't work for me anyway. So depth emitted is, yep, so that's like that. Seas moving range, no limit, disabled reverse. And we're going to do the same for the naval AI over here. And this, the UI for this thing has been updated a little bit. So there, there. What's up in range? There. And 91. I like 91 for some reason because it kind of makes it engage as a slightly sharper angle than just 9 degrees, which means it turns more frequently and dodges more often, which I quite like. Uh, it does bite the thing in the arse sometimes because sometimes they, they still turn and run away. Not sure if it's because of this or something else or just because the AI is spectacularly thick. And depth requirement is zero, disabled reverse. There are reasons to have reverse on, but for the most part, if you just want a simple life, you'll just turn it off. And general processing is like so. And stone right here. This is not going to get any prizes for being heavily armored, but you know what? My, I can live with that. You can live with that. We can all live with that. But I am going to stick a double layer of stone around here just because do, do, and do do and do 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 okay and we're gonna shove what can we shove in here that doesn't wait I'm a genius actually no I'm not a genius what am I thinking? Let's just do this, and this, there we go, and just layer of stone on top. How's our price? Still really good. This thing is going to be so cheap, it's going to hurt. That is less than ideal. Do, 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 do. Okay, so there's our AI compartment. We've got an AI, we've got fuel. Now, what else do we need? So let's just... This checklist right here is also pretty good, so... What's next? So this thing is quite small, and... So what I'm going to do now is I am going to be very naughty. I'm going to power this thing with RTGs and see if we can't get away with that, because the whole thing is quite light, so... The... Where is it? 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 So the mass is 248. Uh, I forget what this is. Tons? Like, really? Uh, yeah, probably tons. So, this probably shouldn't need a huge amount of power to get into the air. But, just in case, we're gonna... I don't know. I don't know, we'll figure it out. So, let's... Resources. How much room do we have here? Not a hell of a lot. So, And also, if you use RTGs, be aware that these things are incredibly expensive. This thing is going to double in cost... Uh, right now. So see, now it's at 7,000. Uh, there's got to be a better way to stick this thing, so let's do this instead. One, two, three, and then we're going to have an electric engine somewhere around here. So, dun 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 dun, dun electric engine, like so, ee -ee. and a battery or six, so two, and then a big bat, no, something like this. One. Let's do that. So we're already getting like over a thousand power in. And dun, 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 and two more batteries. So Alright, so we have a fair amount of power to play with. And we're just gonna stick another one of these in. So okay, so this thing is still only is still very cheap. Um you always have to remember is that the initial costs while looking at this is a uh, not, or sometimes quite misleading because, well, this thing's nowhere near finished. It's only been about 20 minutes. 20 minutes to just get this up. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, and again, yeah. I'm going to need to pack a lot of extra wood in here. Layered wood can be surprisingly good armor, but just in terms of massive volumes. Okay, so what do we got? What do we got? So, material storage. So, let's just stick some material storage in here. I am not braining very well at the moment, so I'm just gonna follow the freaking thing. Storage wood small. Dun, 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 dun. I'm not gonna stick repair bots on here 
as of right now, because I always save that to last these days, I've learned the hard way that relying on repair bots to keep your ships alive is a very bad idea. Uh, do not do it, it is very expensive. Uh, it's better to rely on other things. Uh, active defenses, for the most part, so... And just, and just ship design, so... The, something like this, like putting your ammo at the back, where it's uh, less likely to get hit. Also, while I'm here, I'm just gonna armor this up a little bit better. Do and will double layers on the deck be overkill? Probably not. So let's see here. Boom. My phone beeped. Actually, no, it didn't. It was my imagination. I apologize. I apologize profusely. And hopefully this damn thing doesn't get hit by from below because that'll make me cry. And uh, another reason why I'm kind of holding off a little bit on doing another NATO campaign is currently there's uh, Draba is doing great work with like uh, the missile changes implemented bit by bit, but uh, it's been it's rather glaringly brought back a long-term bug of like missiles just phasing straight through blocks and exploding where they shouldn't, like. And, frankly, it means that some of my craft are actually a little bit overpowered at the moment because of it, and... Uh, frankly, it's just, it's not gonna be fun using them, and it's not gonna be fun, like, playing seriously if they do that, so I'm holding off a little bit. Probably not gonna wait until the whole missile update actually arrives to do another NATO, we'll have to see. But, yeah, I am gonna be holding off a little bit, because, quite frankly, when that update hits, uh, I'm gonna need to redo every single missile in my fleet again, and I'd rather not do that more than once because that is a pain in the tush. Uh, where was I? Okay, so uh, da -da -da, fuel. Don't need fuel. Detection equipment. That comes later. Da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. Okay, so now what we can do is finish this off. Do -do 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 Okay, so this is very basic, what we've just done here, and this is whole one huge compartment in here, and I'm going to stick in uh, dual helium pumps, because maybe this will actually make it fly to begin with. So if I do this now, and how, what is flooded? don't think anything should be flooded. Thing is, yeah, the thing's floating extremely well, and that's because there's no heavy armor in it, and like, hmm. Okay, so I guess the next step is just to uh, finish off the deck. So I like to have a deck that is two layers thick, so we are currently one layer of wood is not going to cut it, so we are going to do something like this. We are going to prefab the entire upper deck and do something with it. So height just is one, and what is the width of this thing? 13. So width is 13, length is 58. So 58, whoop! And make sure it's pointed that way, and we're gonna do this. There we go. And now, as you can probably see, this happened, so I need to do that. And what is this? And we can just do this. Okay, so now we have a nice two meter thick deck. Better than nothing. I tend to go slightly... Okay, so we're almost at uh, 10,000 material cost. Like, honestly, maybe RTGs wasn't the best decision for this. But I'm slightly lazy and uh, I, I could jam a fuel engine in here. It wouldn't be easy, but what is this? No available... Okay, let's do this instead. Okay, so still quite not enough to get this thing flying as of yet, but... Let's have an air pump as well. Let's do this as well. That was useless. Okay, so now we have the deck, and now I want to figure out what the, on earth we're going to put on the deck. So, in order to do that, let me save this thing quickly. I do have a weapons in mind for it. Just little auto cannons. It's let's see, where was it? 
showed this off the Discord some time ago, so if I do that... I have lots of turret test for... Most of the fortresses that I've made are just to test various weapons. You do auto cannon miniguns. Here we go. So we go here. These are just uh, little things that I made. Just entirely... Again, entirely for fun. Just uh, some time ago. And uh, they're just little miniguns. That uh, they have an ACB on them. That uh, I get some spinning. So I probably need to rework that actually. So if we go here, don't have enough room on this to actually one, two, three, four. I can sink these into the deck slightly. Interesting. Or do I even need them to spin? Yeah, I probably do. So if we do something like this and spawn in a Nessie. See these things spin. This is what I'm planning to have it on with, and especially in mass like this, this uh, they actually do a real number against uh, early craft. Because each of those auto cannons actually packs quite a wallop, especially at close range. Wow, we're just disintegrating that Nessie. And this, uh, this little craft over here probably isn't going to have enough ammunition to, like, have... How many, how many of these things are? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Might have to expand the ammo compartment. See, like, building in front of the desk is always like this. You're always like, huh, okay. Uh, my plan is not working as well as I thought it did. I might need to make plans. So, in fact, we are going to expand this ammo compartment a little bit, just ahead of time. Just to make absolutely sure we have enough ducker. So let's see here. What can we do? Get rid of that. And then get rid of that. Get rid of that. And get rid of that. There's our ammo. And we're just going to. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And this is where heavy armor is probably a good idea because I don't actually want this whole thing exploding all at once so it's a good idea to not uh, put all your uh, cherries in one basket because for one thing why do you have cherries in a basket and as opposed to eggs and let's see here can we divide this in half how much space do we have one two three four five six okay rather not have a whole spine of actually so what the okay let's do now. Let's do this now. So let's see here. I'm just muttering to myself. So seven there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So I'm going to separate this off down the middle. One, two, three, six. So now we have a lot of ammo. And we're just going to be cunning and we're going to separate this off down the middle with some. Uh, cheap heavy armor, so we're gonna... How much space do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. I literally just checked that twice in a row, so we're gonna have a slope. So down slope, three meters. And hopefully, that means that if this one explodes, it's not gonna detonate this one, because the explosion has to go one, two, three. Aha! Can't reach. Uh, Hopefully that should work, and hopefully as well, that doesn't mean the whole damn thing Yes, it is. There it goes. Heavy armor is heavy. It's uh, in the name, even. So, I'm going to need to think about that. And that's always the risk. If you use heavy armor, you have to be careful where you put it. So, now what? Now what? Now what? So, let's go over here. And I do want uh, these guns, because if we have these guns spin, and if I just have this exact ACB set up, it's going to muck around with the Daddy Blades keeping the thing in the air, so I don't want that. So I'd rather stick a little personalized ACB right on this thing. In fact, I'm going to do that right now, so let's do this. Also, not the best idea to do this, like, if uh, you really want to be clever, you would set these, these spin blocks up. Actually, why don't I just bloody well do that? So, uh... Here. Let's do what's something that's not used O and L. Something like that. Yeah. 
Okay, that, that I'm actually gonna put my money where my mouth is and actually use the actually wait 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 before anything else we got to do this just for the sake of because we do need to firing restrictions are very important for any weapon but especially auto cannons because if you do not do that it is a real issue and this is a turret on a turret so very important to do that thing uh, gosh dingle down didn't mean to do that okay there we go there we go there we go little cannon minigun Come on, there we go. Okay, now we're over here. Now we can do this. We can stick this thing one meter into the hull, and that should be a good idea. This is on should, might not be. that is happening so what I can do here incidentally like ugh. yeah very little what I'm doing is super optimized right now and that's because I kind of hate making things super optimized it's takes a long time it's tedious uh, let's do this and see if we can get away with it Slightly into the hull. Uh, does that look good? No, that looks like garbage. Why did I bother? Listening. Do no. Listening. What the hell's the vehicle? There we go. Okay. So here we are. I'm just going to stick quickly a one of these right. Where is it? Okay, chair, so I can teleport to it. Fancy uh, thing having teleporters built into your chairs, and I'll do that. And... Does it turn all the way around? No, it does not. That is excellent. Okay, that works. Actually, that doesn't look too bad. Okay, there's a good chance it's going to shoot itself which is less than ideal which means I actually want that gun set a little bit higher so Ugh. we're learning things people so let's not do that let's keep our two meter deck and let's have our turret nice and exposed where everything can shoot at it I could probably go for bigger turrets as well now I think about it so there and what does it take to get you above that so I want Three. So over here we're gonna have two, three. Just to see if this thing works. Yep, that works. Two, three. This is very primitive. What I'm doing right now. Hmm. Not sure if I like that. Uh, yeah, these are actually surprisingly tall little turrets for their size, so... Yeah, don't work on that. One, two, three... Check, see... That's not high enough, that's there, so... Then load that, and do this, and... What stuff... Ah! So now this thing is a little bit... Okay, so we're getting somewhere. This is going to be way taller than I expected, or wanted. Better off just designing... I'm probably going to fiddle with this off-camera as well, because now you see, ladies and gentlemen, I am on a roll. So, mm, I don't want it that tall. I really don't. So, what I could do instead... gonna need to think about this I think this is interesting so this it's always that point when you're building something when you think like hmm have I made something stupid 
answer is probably yes. Yes, I have. I've made something very stupid indeed. And you know what? While I'm thinking about it, I want to do this. Do, 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 do. Just right here because I can't do that. So not that. I want to see. No enemy within. Blah blah blah. Range. Okay. So then target controls. Complex controls. Activate. It was. Hang on. Let's see this again. This is uh, O and L, so I want L activated when there's no enemies around. Let's see. So I want L, good, good. And same thing over here. I want complex controls activate. Oh, okay, good, good, good. Turn Turning off. everything Turning off. off, and let's spawn in. Oh my God! No, stop it! It's not what I want to do. Maybe I should swap these around. O, L, no. What the hell is going on? Okay, so green makes it. Oh, it's making it spin the other way around. No, 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 no. I know what to do. I know what to do. You can be cunning. That and to pay O, so let's swap that. And uh, dun, 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 dun. condition blah, blah blah, turn ACB off. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? ACB, uh, disable, and the range is just two. Oh, for crying out loud. Right, this is uh, this is utterly futile. I'm gonna not bother with this. So, Dude, okay, come on. Ah, uh, boy, this is what happens when you try and do things on camera. It doesn't work very well. You guys are gonna make myself make me sick. So let's not do that. And there, and there. Oh no! They're gonna spin forever. That's fine, I was probably going to delete these turrets anyway, so... Piss off. And... Piss off. And... Piss off. Okay. So I think what I'm going to do instead is something like this. So, less turrets. Probably have too much ammo already, so... Okay, let's do... What if we do something like... This I'm gonna need much better firing restrictions, aren't I? And that could work. That is uh, definitely going to shoot itself a lot. So you know what? I might just ah uh, no, like uh, I like auto cannons. Right, I think I'm gonna need to design a brand new turret for this because like see this is the problem I run into if I try and be clever and uh, a stick a turret I already have on something especially if I built the hull already it doesn't usually work so let's not do that let's just quickly design a brand new turret right here so here we're just gonna have two of these so new object Delete all you idiots. Why 
Okay, what am I doing? I don't need to design it there. I don't need to design it there. Not at all. We can design it right here, and it's gonna have two of them, so here. Do 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 new object. We're gonna go three and there, and we're gonna set this ahead of time. So we don't forget. And get the clipboard. And then we're going to do this. AI. Local weapon controller. There. Not the best idea to stick this like on the deck or anything like it. But you know what? We are having a good time. We are having didn't mean to do that. We are having fun. We're building with wood. What else are we gonna do, mates? Okay, so we're gonna do this. And... Th th this. And then we're going to do... This. Woodblock. Heresy to use woodblocks in anything. But I like building turrets. And so there we... Ha! Friggin' ha! Put that in your pipe and eat it. Okay, so now we have a much bigger turret. And how are we gonna do this, lads? So we're gonna do this. And I'm gonna make this metal. And then, new object. Not a two axis turret, we don't need that. We're gonna have an elevation turret. Do something like do something like what are we gonna do? You can't see it, but I'm picturing in my mind how big this damn thing's gonna be. Uh, we're gonna just stick a metal block over here for a second. <gasps> we can use tubes. No we can't. Screw it. Okay. So we're gonna have just a crap ton of auto cannons on this thing. We're going to have nothing fancy, except it is gonna be slightly fancy because sometimes fancy is good for you. So there we gonna go. We are going to prefab our little auto cannon. That is accurate. Let's do that because we don't want it too accurate. Then we're going to capture prefab. I freaking love prefabs. I cannot say this enough because prefabs make life so much easier. In fact, I'm going to. Hmm. Will this thing be able to hit the broadside of a bus? Probably not. Can it aim straight up is the question. It cannot. What the balls. Oh, it's a one you bloody numpty. Okay, let's once again prefabs to the rescue because I used the wrong kind of turret just now. So let's go here. And I have 15 minutes to complete this thing, which isn't going to happen, so... You all get to enjoy me just, I don't know, wasting everyone's time, especially my own. So, here we go. So, width is 7. No, the width is 9. Height is 2. Length is 3. That uh, 4. 5? God, better than I thought. So, there, and... Get rid of that, and now we do the correct turret. Okay, so there. Elevation only turret. That's the one we wanted, you bloody tit. Okay. And that is set to the right accuracy. Now it's aiming up, and now let's test fire. 
that did the trick. There we go. That's very ugly. Very ugly. It's how we like it. This whole thing is going to be extraordinary. I should have set firing restrictions on those before I placed them. Uh, uh, uh. Let's do that now, actually. Uh, copy. Paste. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's do this again, because quite frankly, no one has room in their life for this. Ay, ay, ay. Yay. Yay. That'll do nicely. Okay. And once again, capture, wipe, one, 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 one. Ah, oh, prefabs are great. Prefabs are my life. Prefabs are my life. I don't miss the city because prefabs are my life. Actually, let's be cheeky and do this. Is this a pretty turret? No, no it is not. It is fun though. I wonder if I can do this. This is probably this damn thing's probably taller than it needs to be. Sweet, it can still aim straight up. Hey, that looks a little better. It. Ugh, who am I kidding? It looks like shite. Uh, five, and there, and there. I'm getting hopelessly distracted right now because, quite frankly, I'm having a good time. Okay, sweet. So we have that, and now we need to do something along the lines of this. So we have all that. Save this fellow like so. And you notice we haven't even got to the airship part of this whole endeavor yet. And that is because you need to figure out everything else first. So you and you go there and you go here. And then I have to do all this. And you really... Firing restrictions with autocannons is very, very important. Because otherwise they will shoot everything on your damn ship. Okay, I need to do the prefab trick again. Because I don't have time in my life to uh, go and deal with these individually. And I'm assuming neither do you. So there we do that. And there we do this. And there we do that. That and... Same trick again. I just realized I forgot to stick a detection equipment on this damn thing. Oh, uh, well. That'll come in a second. That's a weird-looking craft already. Just sticking guns like this on it. Uh, hello? Oh, that's why. I forgot I didn't have the bloody thing. Uh, let's uh, stick the chair back again. This is going to be probably a tempor temporary chair, but also probably not going to be a temporary chair. Yes, I'm using my own turret test fortress as a target practice. What about it? That's fun, that's fun. I like that, I like that a lot. Actually, just for giggles, let's do this. So, probably should have done this before. And uh, exposed detection systems are never a good idea. But wait, 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 wait. So, let's do this. So, in here, we're going to put a wireless snooper. Because that's important. We're going to go here and put my favorite combination in the whole wide world, which is AI connector. Really should have. See, this is the problem with me watching me build stuff. I change my mind all the 
goddamn time. And we're gonna have radar, radar gimbal tracker, and camera gimbal tracker. So let's do that because it looks pretty. And then we'll do this because it also looks pretty. And we'll do that. Ah, sh shakes. There. And auto adjust, auto adjust. I will prefab this little... Nah, I won't bother. I will not bother. I will not bother. Everything's temporary. Life, the universe, everything. We'll all be dead one day. And this craft will probably be dead much sooner than any of us because, uh... Did I put that on the left? Yes, I did. Okay, I did. I did. I did. And... What was it? Camera. Okay, so this is a... I don't know. Pretty foolproof little detection gambit I have there, and let's blow you up just quickly, because why not? And let's do this small airship that gets saved in aircraft. Thank you very much, Prototype. And with any build, there is the possibility that it just does not work. Be ambitious, try things. And let's Listening. rotate you a little bit Moving out that. And let us see if you can take on a Nessie just as you are. Taking control. So, spawn you in. Well, only one of the turrets is firing, which is nice. And looks like we have kind of enough ammo for this, but also not really. How's our wooden armor faring? Brilliantly! How expensive? This is 13,000. This is stupidly fun. And, okay, we're gonna do disable you, and then I just remembered we need to... I set this up completely. There, so, the f we'll call fire test one a success. So, one, two, three, four. Get down here. What the? Okay. Target polarization is set all to zero. Things that are right in the face and things that are fast and things that have that. Okay. Me. Okay, that'll do. That'll do for now. What else was I doing? Oh, yeah, so... Aimpoint selection, I want to target a random block every five seconds. Because that's fun. Okay, so now, finally, we're gonna get to the important bit, is how the hell do we make this thing fly? And joy of joys, the center of mass is right... Oh, gosh, dingle damn it! I'm gonna need to move the batteries. I'm gonna need to move the batteries right the hell now, so let's move them along a little bit. It was a dumb place for batteries anyway, so let's get you over here instead. Let's get the water out of my face. And let us stick the batteries here, because then we can stick Daddy Blades above it, so... Dude, dude, dude. This whole recording is turning out slightly longer than I intended to be, but uh, that is part of the game. That's uh, the price of life. Medium? No, that wouldn't work. No, it wouldn't work. Oh, hello, that... okay. Uh, I'm not sure if I like that. Might want to stick in an extra layer of armor out there. Battery, one, two, three, and... Battery storage, large. Two, that'll do. And beam. So, one, two. And one, two, three, four. And we have a lot... wow, we have a lot of engine power now. That's probably overkill, so... And center of mass is right there, that is perfect. Okay, so then... Part two of my master plan. So, let's see here... So, air, and where are we? We are here. There, and extension, two, three... Like that, because I am convinced I'm going to need 
and motor drive, always up. I want the pitch to be in the front and back, so... Once again, prefabs are very good. And quick, one, two, three, four, six, seven, and... Control block right here. So, uh, not uh, dish. So, vehicle stats, vehicle attitude, altitude. So, dun, 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 triggered if vehicle is within. Okay, that's one way to do it, I, see, I guess. Oh, what the hell? Why am I upside down? It's because this is inverted, you bloody fool. This is something you always have to worry about. Right, so the, nothing in this video went to plan, so... Did I put these upside down? No, I didn't. This one. Yeah, okay, right, so... Right, so uh, as this little airship falls out of the sky, uh, I don't know. Don't know if I should leave the video there. That seems uh, rather lackluster. So this definitely needs a sequel. We're going to finish this damn thing on camera. So uh, thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And I will see you next time in From the... Oh, look at that. She's adjusting herself. Farewell!